New footage shows this is how Ukrainian FPV drone easily blew up dozens Russian troops arriving in Avdivka. Nowadays, the continued and extremely effective innovation in deploying what at their origin are consumer and enterprise drone technologies, notably first-person view craft, FPV, have been essential to Ukraine's defense against the larger and better equipped invading Russian army. Now it appears technicians in Kyiv have again attained an aerial advantage by flying swarms of UAVs overseen by a craft acting as a kind of queen bee in those operations. Reports about Ukraine forces using repeater drones to extend and strengthen aerial communication capabilities have been circulating since December. But on Friday, the At War Translated Information Project posted a video in which a Russian soldier claims to have seen one of those UAVs in operation acting as a queen to a swarm of FPV strike craft. A large, possibly fixed-wing drone carrying specialized communication payload apparently relays images to a pilot overseeing the overall swarm strike operation, but that main feed provides reconnaissance information on Russian positions on the ground. Ukraine operators of what might be called Worker B, FPV craft then attack using that situational awareness information with the Queen serving as a signal relay station and amplifier. They're sending a large wing, drone, with a repeater, which broadcasts the signal, the soldier said in the post by At War Translated. He also sighed. Underneath is a flock of FPV drones, a flock of around 10 drones, the Queen is somewhere above at a high altitude, in, short, detection range, it brings the flock of drones, which then descend into positions and start working. That work has been credited in several media accounts quoting defense experts as a major reason why recent Russian counter-offensives have largely gone nowhere. Ukraine's use of roaming, queen, repeater drones to monitor those troop enemy movements and react to them with FPV swarm attacks. Those accounts say, have resulted in invading forces being taken out almost as soon as they come out in the open, and not only is the method now enabling reportedly effective coordinated FPV drone strikes. The FPV drone it also reflects a level of sophistication in Ukraine's innovation and improvement of aerial communications tech that spells even more bad news for Russian ground troops being regularly battered from above. While current, Russian ground forces in Ukraine lost around 365 main battle tanks in the war-torn country since Moscow launched an offensive on the eastern front lines in early October, according to a new assessment. The Kremlin's ground fighters achieved only minor gains but lost up to 365 tanks, plus 700 armored combat vehicles, the British Defense Ministry said on Monday. On October 10, Russia embarked on an offensive on the Donetsk town of Avdivka, which has been a Ukrainian stronghold for nearly a decade. Moscow has slowly claimed territory around the eastern settlement, but Russian vehicle losses quickly became a defining part of the Kremlin's attack on Avdivka. Between Russia launching its offensive and November 28, Moscow lost more than 211 vehicles around Avdivka, according to satellite imagery analysis by the Frontelligence Insight Project. The British Defense Ministry has also suggested that Russia lost around 200 armored vehicles in the first three weeks of the offensive on Avdivka. However, Russia is likely able to replenish its main battle tank stocks with 100 new vehicles each month, the UK said, while Moscow retains the capacity to replace battlefield losses and continue this level of offensive activity for the foreseeable future. In the 23 months of full-scale war, Russia has lost 2,600 main battle tanks and almost 5,000 armored combat vehicles in its invasion effort, the UK government said in its Monday intelligence update posted to social media platform, X. Britain's Armed Forces Minister, James Heapy, had told UK lawmakers in early November that Russia had lost nearly 2,475 main battle tanks since its invasion got underway. 
Moscow's troops lost a staggering number of tanks in the early phase of its invasion, experts previously told media. Russia was plagued by planning and organizational failures, low morale and poor training in the initial weeks, with few experienced tank crews surviving to pass on their knowledge, analysts suggested. Russia's ground forces likely lost around 40% fewer armored vehicles throughout 2023 than in 2022, the British Defense Ministry added on Monday, until early October 2023, Moscow had largely been on the defensive across the front lines throughout the year. In mid-January 2024, Brigadier General Alexander Tarnovsky, commander of Ukraine's Tavria grouping of forces covering Avdivka, shared an image appearing to show a snapshot of Russian military vehicles littering the fields around Avdivka. While there are hundreds of units of knocked-out Russian equipment along the front line close to the town northwest of the regional capital, Donetsk City, Tarnovsky said. However, Russian forces switched to infantry-led attacks around Avdivka to conserve armored vehicles following the first two waves of assaults on the settlement, the Institute for the Study of War think tank, which is based in the U.S., said in mid-December. Tarnovsky said on Monday, the number of infantry attacks does not decrease, armored vehicles are currently used by the enemy in small quantities to support manpower. While on Saturday, Spartan 3rd Operational Brigade's reconnaissance units successfully neutralized occupiers, inflicted damage to Russian equipment, and captured a Russian soldier on the Zaporizhia front, the Ukraine's National Guard reported with accompanying video evidence. Military personnel identified an enemy group advancing toward National Guard positions on the battlefield. Subsequently, they targeted the occupiers with multiple strikes using FPV drones. To finalize the successful air operation, two guards from the Spartan Brigade were deployed for cleanup. On site, they discovered a wounded enemy combatant and took him into custody. In early December, Interior Minister Ihor Klimenko reported that two National Guard troops eliminated four invaders directly in their trench. <laughs>